Have you ever had that horrible feeling that after skiing, your body is all wet, your garments are all wet and the wind is around the corner? You could actually be one step away from a terrible cold or you could change garment. Fortunately, there is Thermolite that comes to the rescue. A fantastic textile fiber which probably you have never heard of. It's used mostly for sportswear and technical textiles. Thermolite means that this fiber is thermoregulating and lighter than normal fibers. But how is it possible and how is it produced? Let's see more in details. Thermolite is a special polyester fiber produced by the Lycra company along with Lycra Elastan, Coolmax polyester and several other chemical fibers. In textiles, polyester generally refers to PET, which is the same polymer used for plastic bottles and several other plastic products. PET is always PET, so chemically speaking, Thermolite is a polyester. In fact, in care label it is reported as 100% polyester, Thermolite in the brackets. If chemically Thermolite is PET, the only thing that differ from the rest of conventional polyester is the shape of the polyester, which is not spun the same way. This is the shape of conventional polyester, this is the shape of thermolite. Did you notice something different? The first is a spaghetto, the second is a bucatino. Thermolite is in fact delicious with tomato sauce. Nah, just kidding, jokes apart. Thermolite polyester fiber is indeed hollow inside. This allows the air to go inside and create small air pockets that grant a good thermal insulation. This peculiar structure actually grants several other properties features to this fiber, such as lightness and quick drying. Since hollow inside there is less material, thermal insulation as stated previously, breathability, durability since in polyester and comfort since the hollow structure adapts better to the skin. I'm actually a big fan of Thermolite, if you need some thermoregulating properties, textiles, Thermolite is actually a good choice, but Thermolite has also drawbacks. It's expensive, not ideal for hot environments or intensive activities since could be too insulating and has artificial sensation on the skin since it's not natural. The applications of Thermolite are infinite, especially in sportswear. Since the skin remains drier, the body temperature remains the same also in bad weather conditions and this allows to have less fatigue during sport activities. Can be also used in socks for outwear and for insulation. Now the question remains, Thermolite or Coolmax? According to me, Coolmax is better for hot conditions and intensive activities such as cycling, running or indoor activities. Thermolite is better for skiing, alpinism, trekking and outdoor activities since insulating. This is of course my point of view but I leave the choice to you guys. That's it for today guys, I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video, you will find my details below along with my email, reddit and so on. If you need any textile help, I am at disposal naturally, make sure to subscribe to the channel and as usual stay safe, take care, I'll see you guys in the next video.